welcome back friends in the previous video we have talked about how uh, the double stranded dna virus is uh, replicated inside the host cell using the different uh, replication scheme using the expression of early proteins as well as the expression of late proteins now in this video we'll be talking about how the single stranded rna virus uh, replicates inside the host cell so we are talking about the single stranded so we'll be talking about the single stranded RNA virus replication scheme here, right? Replication. Okay. Now when we are talking about single stranded RNA virus, then single stranded RNA can be of two different types. It can be positive single stranded RNA or it can be negative single stranded RNA. Now what do we mean by positive and negative of the RNA? Now let me talk a little bit about that. Now we can have RNA molecule. If we uh, RNA, we all know that RNA uh, is serving as a code or template for the synthesis of proteins, right? So RNA can give rise to protein. Now there are some RNA template which is functioning as a template and directly translating those RNA using ribosome, using ribosome will provide us protein okay and there are certain RNAs so let me there are certain RNA by putting ribosome into the place in those case by putting ribosome into the place we cannot get any product right now the first type of RNA we have talked about when we translate those type of RNA we get direct proteins those RNA are called as positive strand RNA because those RNA are ready to make protein so they are ready to make proteins okay but the second type of RNA which cannot be translated into protein product is called the negative strand RNA or negative stranded mRNA okay now in single stranded RNA in this case we are interested in talking about the positive stranded single stranded RNA so we are talking about positive mRNA right so if we are having positive mRNA now those positive mRNA can easily be translated so we can have a translation there translation or protein synthesis after this part what we get we, we get protein products some protein products now these protein products these are called viral proteins right viral proteins now this viral protein products can act as some of this protein product can act as RNA dependent RNA polymerase RNA polymerase which is RNA dependent not DNA dependent RNA dependent okay so we get this type of viral proteins now some of this type of viral proteins uh, can go and it will help uh, the transcription of this single stranded mRNA now how the mRNA can be replicated or how the mRNA can be copied now the easy way to copy this positively stranded mRNA is so we are having let's say we are having this positively stranded mRNA now what we'll do using this RNA dependent RNA polymerase enzymes so using some of these enzymes so RNA pol RNA dependent obviously RNA dependent RNA pol we can produce negatively stranded mRNA using this positive strand as a template right so in this case we are using this one is as a template and what we can produce this negatively stranded mRNA now once we produce this negatively stranded mRNA now this negative stranded mRNA can serve as a template for the production of many more they can serve as a production of so again we require RNA pol RNA dependent and we can get RNA dependent so let me get RNA dependent and what we can get many more many more copies of positively stranded mRNA so all of them are positively stranded mRNA right now our goal is to produce more positively stranded mRNA but we cannot get it by simple replication of positive strand mRNA because if we are replicating this positively stranded mRNA using this positive strand as the template we'll end up with the production of negatively stranded mRNA so we need to take another round of the same process to get more positively stranded mRNA by using this negatively stranded mRNA as 
as a template. So very very simple, very basic. So if you use the positive strand, you will get a negative strand. If you use negative strand as a template, you will get a positive strand. So you get more and more positively stranded mRNA, <coughs> and that's what the genetic material of our virus in this case. Now we'll take this positively stranded mRNA, and then some of this positively strand, uh, stranded mRNA will start producing more and more viral proteins more and new varieties of viral proteins viral structural proteins so once they produce many more viral structural proteins the structural protein will form capsid and inside this capsid so let me draw inside this capsid actually we can have our gene of interest for that bacteria and that is in this case this positive stranded mRNA so we get our virus particle ready we get our virus particle ready there like okay more viral proteins are assembled and we get this one so this is the process of single stranded RNA virus replication and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.